Hi, Perry here. Well, <clears throat> I'm here on a sad day, and uh, just I wanted to let everyone know kind of where the direction of the studio is going. Um, what you see behind me is a lot of recording equipment that I've amassed over the last, well, I'm sure there's a piece in here that's probably 20 years old, and uh, that's when I really started recording was actually over 20 years ago I got into the recording business, and I've had a lot of great experiences. I was an engineer for a long time. That's how I started out <clears throat> when I first bought my equipment. I was engineering all my own uh, music and uh, music for a lot of different artists around in the cities. And eventually, when I started my rehearsal space business, I started to hire other engineers to work for me. And I slowly uh, got out of, of engineering on a daily basis. Um, although there was a stint back in 2011, 2010 and 2011 uh, when I went through a little bit of a financial crisis, <clears throat> uh, I actually got back into the engineering game. Um, but since then, I've slowly transitioned out again and I've had the fortune of, of being of employing a number of great engineers over the years. Um, I've managed the studio. I've recorded almost all of my own uh, music in this studio. And uh, it's it's been a business, and um, it's been a part of the Taylor Sound business for, um, well, I started Taylor Sound in 2000, so 20 years. And um, now it's time to let the recording part of the business um, go to someone else that is more um, hands-on, more inclined to be uh, more focused on recording on a day-to-day -day basis. So all of this equipment is uh, up for sale at this point. Um, a lot of it is going to go to Matt Grosso from Cloverleaf. He will be starting a new studio uh, soon um, in a different location. He's got one running in St. Paul. So if you need recording, actually I'm going to be refer referring everyone that comes in uh, to my website to his uh, studio um, because we've created a good relationship and I still want to be able to sort of pseudo provide recording for people. But I'm just going to get out of the day-to-day -day, um, business of it. Um, these three rooms where the recording studio is will be converted into rehearsal spaces. And that's really been the reason why uh, I've always had a question in my mind about, not always, but probably for the past few years I've questioned in my mind if I want to keep doing the recording side of it. Because, <clears throat> to be honest, once I pay all the bills, um, spend all the time courting clients, and um, at the end of the month, I always look at it and say, well, could these rooms be making as much or more simply as rehearsal spaces? And really the answer has been in the last year, yes. Uh, rehearsal spaces are going to bring in more money um, than me doing daily sessions here. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna convert these to rehearsal spaces. They're gonna be pimp, awesome rehearsal spaces. They each have a window. I'm actually taking the one that way um, for myself. Um, I'm gonna have my office and my rehearsal space combined as one. Um, because I don't, I spend probably very little time rehearsing and very little time in my office. I'm combined, you know, so, so many hours a week where I can, I can combine them. Uh, so this room, the control room will be a rehearsal space. 
Um, that window will be covered up and on both sides. The room over there, performance room A, will be converted into a rehearsal space. Um, they all, again, that one has a huge window. So these are going to be these are going to be perfect, awesome uh, rehearsal spaces. Two across the hall um, will be rehearsal spaces as well. Those are nice rooms as well. They don't have windows. They're nice and big and rectangle, or they're basically squares. Um, and also in this hallway, um, there is a security system with a double uh, doors in the hallway. So you have an extra um, line of security if you rent one of these five rooms back here. So that is the news for today. Um, if for some, if you've been in the studio and you're interested in a rehearsal space, one of these rooms being your rehearsal space, let me know. Uh, the windows make it a big, uh, you know, there aren't very many rehearsal spaces in the Twin Cities with with windows. So I'm sure they'll go fast. Um, it won't take me very long to convert them. Uh, I'm as I said, I was give, I'm giving most of not giving. I'm uh, making a deal with Matt uh, for most of this gear, so that'll go pretty quickly. Um, I'll bring the rest of the gear that I need to sell. Um, probably put it on eBay and Craig's and Facebook Marketplace and Reverb and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, this isn't meant to be an ad, really. This is meant to say I want to thank everybody for all of the recording. Uh, projects that have been through here all of the the love that you've uh, sent through these walls and music that you've created here it's been an incredible journey and uh, I'm <coughs> extremely <coughs> I'm not crying I just I have something in my throat um, it's been an ex uh, extremely uh, wonderful uh, recording career and I'm not I'm not giving up on it. <clears throat> I'm I will be recording my own band, um, getting a nice little setup um, for my band Silver Seed. We'll have a uh, uh, some nice uh, interfaces and Pro Tools in our own room, so we'll be tracking. Probably farm it out to uh, Matt uh, or somebody else to mix. Um, but uh, this is a, a big day for me. But it's also it's also great because there will be no more conflicts between rehearsal spaces and recording. And I've always lived with that. I never took the plunge and spent the proper amount of dollars, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to completely insulate my recording studio from my rehearsal space studios. And that's always been a battle and a struggle for this studio, even though we put out super quality stuff sometimes um, we've had conflicts between the rehearsals and the recording so that uh, inner conflict or that conflict and that struggle is going away I'm going to focus all my energy on rehearsal space and of course the video studio will still be here and um, that's where the direction of Taylor sound and video the sound part will no longer be providing recording but the video the sound part will be rehearsal daily rehearsals monthly rehearsals weekly that kind of thing tour rehearsals and the video part will be the video rental we'll also do video productions and stuff like that um, mostly with Matt from Cloverleaf Audiovisual and some other awesome freelance video people here but we'll still be doing some pr video production and we'll be you know be we'll be looking over some of the recording and and uh creative uh, musical projects in the cities and we'll have our hand in it you know i'm always doing different stuff but this will free me up to do some of that stuff that i've always wanted to do and um again thank you and uh You'll see some changes on the website and for of our offerings. And um, but anyway, signing off for now. That's the news. Rock on. <laughs>